Good morning and welcome back to another video. It's not the morning, but we are starting this day off with going to pay Mike G a visit. This is where I did a 360 right there, so bad. The rain and the Sima don't go well together. It has slicks on it, it's crazy. Like I said, we have to go to Mike G's because as the title says, I am buying another vehicle. It's for me, but not for me. You guys are probably gonna say something about this. It is legal to have an open container as a passenger. Aunt is driving me. I'm in the back seat, reclining seats. Come on. I can put the radio up. I got the AC that doesn't work that good, but we can control all of that stuff back here. So Mike, she has this vehicle that we're going to see. It's another BMW, okay. It's very clean. It's in great shape for its age. We got the, the funds, we got the breezy, ants driving great, and it's good. So let's go pay Mike G a visit and see how this car is. Cause I only seen it like one time and I didn't really look at it. So let's go pay Mike G a visit and see if we could uh, beat him up on the price a little bit, you know? <laughs> Watch out the cop right there. Film me, we'll, we'll, we'll film him back. We spawned at Michael's, and now to look at the new project. I thought you said this thing was mint. It was, I don't know what the fuck happened. I thought it, I thought it was black. What the fuck did Mike do? <laughs> I haven't talked to Mike in like a day or two, but he said he had a nice BMW for sale, but I thought it was mint, and I thought it was not totaled. The fuck did he do? The rear wheel too? Oh my god, we gotta go talk to Mike. What happened to the BMW? It's a car destroyer. Michael? No. The other kid. Hot. What what did he hit? Fuck it, what didn't he hit? <laughs> Not bad, right? Mike Sa yeah, same car. Same car, not the one? Not the one. Oh shit. Mike got a new pickup. Not a pickup truck, but a new pickup. This is a big body, Mike. I had to catch up with DJ. <laughs> oh shit. Damn. <laughs> this is sick. It's the first mod Michael always does, right there. First mod. No, Throw her up. Sticker. That's next. You got any on deck still? Of course. Mike, I thought, you, I thought you said the BMW was in mint shape that I was coming mint. to look at. Oh, the silver one. It I thought mint. it was black, the one you said we're talking about. No, I thought you wanted the silver one. And you had a nice BMW for sale. Yeah. Me and Did Aunt you show it to him? Oh, I showed it. <laughs> Good pickup. Wrinkle black and it'll be... A little wrinkly, wrinkly. Yeah. He's clean. Didn't even have to jump start it. No shimmy shakes, nothing. Turn traction control off, come around the corner, fucking matted it. Get shredded the tires up the street. Oh yeah, I bet. Uh -huh. to, oh, it's got the Tor V. Wait, that's so cool. it's Tor V. It is a Tor V. Yeah. That's gotta go. <laughs> what? That little antenna thing in the What do you mean? Do you like that? That's the parking poles. Yeah, look. This it's is OEM. The, the these light up the green, which is sick. The rear is crazy. Maybe they're fiber optic, so at nighttime you can see these are lit up too. Yeah, these, these glow. Grant has the same, yeah, same car. He's got a 90. What's the kilometers on this one? Uh, 140. All right, so about got like 70K on her. Yeah, something That's like that. That's beautiful. Some heavy glue. They actually sell like a carbon piece that covers it and pushes it and pulls it down. Michael, don't sleep, people. Like He's got the R154, brand new. Coils, all ready for it. So the factory tint, Mike? I don't think it's factory. It says to unless this. No, that's a speaker. Well, this clip right here. I don't think that's the tint, is it? If it is, oh, maybe it is. It might be the shade, like it I had on my 13. Shade. You can't get rid of that. Oh, I gotta leave it now. It's Toyota. I didn't know it was a Toyota one. We're transitioning Mike to tint real quick here, people. No, it's not a tint. Gold badge too. Come on. I don't think they're all like this. I I no, don't think I've seen a, a gold badge. Bells and I've whistles. never seen one with a rear parking pool either. Mike's trying to say this don't look too bad. This is what Donald came and picked up. This thing is. Oh yeah, let me see that strut tower. 
I feel like the, the, the fuse box is the worst part. It's over like a foot. <laughs> but this, like, Look at that. what did he hit? A guardrail? I have no idea. You can't get the truth out of him. What did you hit? Just my head fucking taking this car back. It's still got good shit on it, though. So Mike sold this car. It was a loner, long story. I don't got to. sold it. Sold it, and then the, yeah, he got it back, and he got the money with the car. I sold it, the dude crashed, and gave it back to me. Here she is. That one looks a little better than the last one, huh? It sounds like a diesel. <laughs> Why does it sound like a diesel? 36 four-door. Run them through it quick, Mike. Specs. Fucking 30,000 miles on her. Mint. I mean, it needs a good detail, obviously. Black on black. Uh-huh, it's got the nice sport interior. You're gonna have to glue the glove box, too. You gotta glue the door panels, yep, I see. Yeah, my, mine was just like that, too. I plan on doing all this, so I just haven't got around to it. Got that smell, though. I haven't done anything with this thing yet. The headliner needs some love and care. Let's see under here. Oh, yeah. Oh, so huh? much room to work. <laughs> <laughs> Look how small it is. These are actually fantastic, the turbo. These are? Yeah, a lot of people like these four cylinders. Really? Uh-huh. They're they're a lot higher revving than the six cylinders are. So this this four cylinder was actually faster than that 320. This really? thing will burn that 320. Really? Mm -hmm. Just because of weight and just I don't know, it's weight and this thing just up top it screams for a little four cylinder. I had one of these years ago, a, a US one, and I used it as a winter car, and that thing was fucking Drift Central. You remember that? Yeah, the silver one. Yeah. That was a great car. That thing was a blast. Uh-huh. Yeah, we gotta do some upholstery yeah, work, clean, clean her up. up just but from at, sitting. At least it's black on um, black. Is, this is exactly how my coupe was. Same deal. The, the glove box glue, the, the door glue. It's common. They're old. Uh-huh. The only thing mine didn't do, but I think it actually is sagging, was my headliner wasn't falling, but I think it is now from sitting. This thing is... Coils, wheels, and tints away from being pretty cool. That's it. Definitely a tune-up and a, a good detail. We'll hit up mm -hmm. Darren for that one. Yeah, that's it. The only the only marks on the whole car is that little one right there, mm -hmm. and one on the molding over here. I was actually gonna. I didn't know if I was gonna replace the molding or just leave it because if I put a new molding on it, then it wouldn't match. But you could just get a, a used one off eBay for like twenty dollars. I'm sure. We'll oil it down. Glass? Glass box. Euro. Ellipsoids. That uh -huh. is cool. These headlights are... Like, are those Euro spec? Yeah. No so this shit. car this car is Euro spec. Even okay. though it's Japanese spec, it's technically Euro spec. Already it's, digging through it. It's actually considered an ROW car. So there's US cars and there's ROW cars. This is an ROW, which is rest of world spec. Yeah, but J Japan is technically Euro spec. So if you're going to look parts up on this, you look up on um, like real OEM. It's going to be rest of world spec. It's not going to be a U.S. spec. Which means that even though this is like a 98, it still doesn't have OBD2. Full tool kit. Yeah, that, that's good. Think Mine over. got this. It's cool. Aunt, Aunt loves the, it. The best thing is a slick top. What is this? Oh, yeah, slick is top. Is that a flare? The triangular. Oh. Mine didn't have that. I'm going to keep it. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, look, it's got like a little spot. It goes in here. You can't take this flare. Yeah, and then it pops there. right in. That's cool. In case you're in roadside emergency. And these too. I've never seen those. That's a crazy spare. A little bit of cleaning up and that's really all I need. Some wheels, coils, call it a day. Back to black. So the plans for Zero this are to keep console. it simple, OEM, and clean it up. I think it would do a whole lot for it. Because it does have good bones. There's no huge, major dings, dents, scratches, minus the uh, the side skirt down there, but that's really not a big yeah. deal. I think this thing has a lot of potential and it could be really cool. Do I need another car? No, but you guys will see. It'll all make sense. It'll all make sense. Let's get this thing back to the shop and clean her up a little bit. It won't go into gear like that. That's crazy. That thing is a street sweeper. Look at that thing. <laughs> Damn, that bitch is sitting. 
I do gotta say though, this thing, ice cold AC, drives like an absolute dream. Highway, we're chilling 100 kilometers. It's a pleasure driving this thing. Everything works as it should. Lights, oh yeah. Everything works as it should, I love that. Just a little cosmetic with the upholstery, the headliner, and I am happy with this thing. This is gonna be a cool, quick little build for the channel, and I hope you guys are stoked for it. Leave down in the comments below what you think I should do with it. I already have a general idea. OEM, maybe M3 bumpers, wheels, coils, call it a day. She made it back in one piece. How was the Sima in the rain? It's not fun. It's sketchy. Yeah, you gotta be a... Aware. What do we say? I mean, you and Jimmy say it a lot. You've got to drive a piece of shit to drive certain pieces of shit. You can't just throw, I don't know, Dean in that in the rain. It would be a bad day. He'd loop it. Yeah. This thing really might shine up nice. We got to hit up Darren. No, we we yeah. already got him on, on call. For paint correction? Yeah. He said he knows how to do that, I think. And learning something. While or I'll, I'll buff it. It'll be the third no, black car I buff. In all seriousness, it does look like this might come back pretty good. I, just, it's, I can see it only see it in the wet. I said, M bumper dropped a little bit, mild tint, and stock. And stock I BMW even, wheels. I, even put an M bumper on it. I thought the same thing, but I don't know. We'll I see. Even do it. But people, they want to lie. They want to put fake M shit on their non M. You never see me do that. No. My E46, shit, I'll tell people it's a 325. I don't give a fuck. But I'm just trying to think what people will, will appreciate and make it just look a little better. But Mike G did hook me up on this thing, and it's really not bad. If you pop it, we'll throw the fucking Jay-Z in it. Snow. Don't touch any of that. This is going to do a burnout. There's no way it doesn't do a burnout. Told ya. That's so fucking... I told you. It's right. Some oil on the ground, maybe. Oh. Don't hit that car. Don't hit that car! It does have a traction control button. That doesn't mean nothing. It's not going to do a burnout and it's not going to drift like he thinks it's going to. It's the slowest burnout ever. <laughs> I've just like yours, Bri. What's the difference between this one and yours? Pretty much every single thing about this in my car is different. This is uh, black, I, yours is white. White, four cylinder, eight cylinder. American, Euro. shit, fast as shit. Yeah, pretty much everything is different. So it feels nothing at all like my BMW. Drivable, non-drivable. <laughs> you said it wouldn't do a burnout? I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. It would not do a burnout. I wouldn't count that as a burnout. Dude, I thought that oh was God. pretty cool. How do you liked it, bro? It didn't look cool from my I POV. Didn't feel cool either. So what Ant is doing over time, it's what we call a sun fade. It's when the sun hits the seat and kinda takes the brilliance of the color out of the seat. So he bought some black dye. He cleaned them, and now he's gonna try to restore them. Don't burn your legs at that. Morton. That's Mort. That's Orton salt. He's got the tea kettle. This is a crazy experiment. So this is the dye that he is using right here. I don't know where that comes into play, but I think that step is done. These are done. Does this come into play? And that bottle is hot. Woo! Salt with the dye? It does something. Who knows? I, I, this is the stuff that I want to tell you. I kind of watch multiple videos and everyone does it differently. So fuck it, I'm going to just do it how, how you want. How I want. So these are going to be uh, back to black soon. And Dawn? Really? This is all interesting stuff over here. It's kind of straight. Anything yeah. is research? What is that, salt? Yeah, it's crazy. Salt and Dawn. <laughs> The one thing, the two things you don't want to mix in while painting, Bri, isn't that right? When applying paint, right? There's more than just that. So I don't, you don't want don't to put, act like you came up with something right now. Yeah. You don't want to mix salt or dawn in, though, is what you I'm saying. You want to mix a, 
any foreign fucking substance in your, your paint. So I don't know what you. Yeah, that's a lot of ones. I think that's a number one rule: no salt in the paint. <laughs> Octo ink. I want us. Is it hot water? We need a light right here. If anyone could send a light, that would be great. I'll put Brian's address down below and just send it there. That would be awesome. Oh, oh my god, it's dripping. Half a coat there. What? Almost gone. The center it does look a little gray, which I like. Yeah, it's a little two tone going. Well, Bri, correct me if I'm wrong. If he spray, if he sprays black on um, blue and gray, will it all will it have a different tone to it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I would imagine. I assume that. That's very cool. I assume it'd be like a charcoal one versus like black. Back the next morning, last night, Aunt dyed his seats, which you guys seen. Here's the after. It was dark in the shop. You couldn't really see it. They're black. See, he sprayed some dye on them. They came out pretty good. They're soaking wet. I think they're still very blue though. They, they don't look that good. I'm gonna. Man, what did you do to the seats? I rinsed them. You rinsed the dye right off them. Oh yeah. No, I removed the dye. Was ah? You shouldn't have washed them. They were wet. I can hose them off now. I'm letting them dry, and they're getting painted with the paint. Oh, okay. That is not it. No, I don't know what's going on with that dye, but it's a mold. It's talking about. Let's get to reality. I mean, they're darker than they were. Look at them. No, they're they are. Darker than they they're were. still very blue in a lot yeah. of spots. Yeah, so they're getting painted. So Ooh, those... Looks like someone took a bite. Yeah, out someone of it. took a bite. Yeah, they so were hungry. Uh, <laughs> what are those animals in Japan? Uh, t capybaras. Yeah, got yeah. in it. Oh, yeah. capy. He had, a, he had a pet capy, the guy that had that skyline. Yeah, oh. got in the car. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> Right out of it. And if you've seen, I bought this jalopy off Mike G the other day. Cool car, you know. We're gonna, we'll dig, in, dig into it. We gotta clean it first, because that's always first come, first serve. And after we clean it, the interior needs uh, some glue. We're gonna maybe buff it quickly. Not today, but we're gonna do it. First, let's clean it and uh, clean the engine bay compartment. Uh, there's not enough room for uh, two E36s around here no more, baby. Get rid of yours. Get rid of yours. Ooh, those, what do those clear tails do? My clear tails? Yeah, what do those clear tails be hitting for? Those will look nice, baby. I'm going to strip your car, baby, and switch. Now. What? They're cheap now. I thought you made them. Yeah, before people were selling them. Copying me. Copy me, bitch. I have the Euro ones too. What? The Euro tails. I bet your headlights don't feel like this. Hmm. Mine are glass. Oh, they are? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. All right, never mind. I'm gonna spray this with some purple power and it'll be fine. And then just maybe a little brush. Whoosh, clean it off. This lady, the Padena Lavaca, was pronounced dead as a scene. Who is that? Scrub here, people. Purple power on scrub. I know it's probably not the best to use purple power, but it does the trick. And there you go. Kind of. Use your thumb. Cover your alternators, people. Pissed. So I just left it in there with my windows down. Quick spit shine. What are you guys doing? Don't go too heavy with it. Don't go too heavy with it. I know. Because it'll stain through. It'll bleed through. I'm a pro at this. I know. I know. He right. was a, a poltress. What's her name? A seamstress. A seamstress. Yeah. It's a seamstress, baby. <laughs> but she cleaned up pretty good. I think we're going to go get some pads for it. Good lighting. But it did clean up good. And I did only find two dents on the whole car, which are like right here. So it wasn't a different car. See, it's just like cloudy right now. Cloudy. And those are like the two major flaws that I've seen in the car. This thing will shine up pretty good. The bay came out good. It wasn't that dirty though. So. Harbor Freight Hall. These aren't the best pads, but they're cheap and they do the job. While I was gone, these two decided to strip the car, which I'm not mad about. It's 
I forgot you guys are mechanic Someone's gotta do it. mechanically inclined. They ripped the trim off so the rear cool. bumper. Or maybe don't put the trim back on yet until I buff the car. Yeah, I won't. Take the side trim off because it's the same thing like yours. I don't know. I've never. And you were also saying that this paint is the same paint as your car. Mm -hmm. What's the paint code on it? You don't know. Do you 103. know? 103. What is it? 103. Does it have a name? Cosmos Black Metallic. Mm -hmm. It's okay. got a little blue flake in there. It kind of looks purple, but I think it's just because it's dusted. It's blue. Called Hidden Houdini. I don't think we're gonna do it, buff it tonight. Like I said, we're gonna go try to find this underground tunnel in a place that we know of close Worm by hole. wormhole. So we might go try to discover something Caves. like that tonight. Let's just spawn to uh, the railroad. A little bit has changed. It's very overgrown since the last time I've been back here. What are you guys doing? We made it to the first tunnel. I don't think the bunker's near this though. What? You definitely didn't see someone run in here. That would be crazy. Hello? Not there. going in that shit. I'm not saying we are, but the picture showed a tube. What is this, Dagnell? This is a mail yeah. tube? Yeah. Where they would send the mail. Pneumatic air tube for mail. You know what I think's going on, D? There's something afoot, like Bigfoot. All right, so we've been following the pipe for like 30 minutes and we've lost sight of it, but we found this little... Snuffer pipe. As Dagnell would call it, yes. So we're trying to find the other side of the pipe because it kind of went, goes into the ground under the tracks. So we're just trying to find the other end of it right now. <laughs> Be quiet, I hear something. Shh. <laughs> you ain't gonna get me. I'm prepared to get jumped by a homeless guy in here. Like, by oh, a there homeless was clues guy. in there. I'm across an abandoned building in the middle of the woods. Oh, this is creepy, huh? Oh, wow. Fucking just chairs right there. Lounging in here, dude. in the forest, up to our neck. Look at that. <laughs> we found meteorites. All right, so Dagnell, tell me, you didn't find the tunnel. No, we, we gotta found, go back for the tunnel. We found meteorites. But we did find lamps. Well, lamps. Well, lamps. Yeah, I'm going to bed. It's been a long night through the woods. You guys wouldn't believe it. We so, found coal. You got a light? Show them the light. You got a light. We found fucking coal. <laughs> this is all we found. That's all we found. Some coal. We'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys. We are back the next day. But I am going to end it there because in the next video, I'm going to correct the whole car because it needs it. I mean, it's probably kind of hard to see it in here, inside. But it's not that bad. But it's bad. It's just foggy, the scratches, there's not really too many scratches or dings, so I think the clear will actually shine pretty good on this thing. See it, look at that. Yeah, it's all like a cloudy day. So I didn't show taping it or taking the trim off of it because it's not fun to watch, and I am not gonna be polishing it in this one. Transformation will be cool and will be worth it. So, with that being said, this thing should look brand new in the next video, but, this car will be the next giveaway. So, I don't typically launch cars while I'm building them. Never done it this way before, but I think it'll be a good way to do it because then you guys can suggest things that I should do to it. And I'll listen to you guys on this one. So obviously coils, wheels, possibly tints, clean up the interior of it. I can't open the door, but you've seen it. This thing is really really clean it's gonna be a pretty rad car all you have to do to get entered for a chance to win this is buy the digital download that is on the site so i'll put the link down here or and in the description as well i think this should be pretty quick cleaner up 
do a little, you know what I mean? We cleaned the bay before. Now it's the exterior time. We got Drew here supervising just to make sure everything goes smooth. So definitely check it out. Store site will be down below. And yeah, let's get to buffing. I'll see you guys in the next one.